Hi guys! Welcome sa Engineered Math Channel. Sa video na to ay ituturo ko sa inyo ang homogeneous differential equations. So kung gusto niyo itong matutunan, just keep on watching. Okay, so this time, ang ituturo ko naman sa inyo is homogeneous differential equations which is of higher order na. Kasi diba yung naturo ko sa inyo so far sa DE is puro differential equations of first order lang. So this time is pupunta na tayo sa differential equations of higher order which in particular is homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. Okay, so ano ba yung sabihin ng homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients? So, linear differential equation lang din siya Pero, yung mga coefficients niya ay constant lang. So, di ba, meron tayong nakamultiply sa bawat uh, derivatives yun sa linear differential equations natin na function of x or any variable na gusto natin. So, yung mga functions na yun is, in particular, is constant lang. Tapos, kaya siya homogeneous kasi yung right side of the equation, yung f of x, is laging zero. So, sabi kasi, if the right member f of x of a linear differential equation higher order is 0, then it is homogeneous differential equation. So, di ba ito yung form natin ng linear differential equation? So, ito yung mga sinasabi kong function of x na nakamultiply doon sa bawat derivative. So, dahil constant coefficient, ibig sabihin, mga constant lang yung nakamultiply sa so, consider nating d ngayon dito sa topic na to. Tapos, homogeneous siya kasi itong f of x is 0. Okay, so yun lang ibig sabihin ng homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. So, paano ba isolve ang homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients? So, actually, ito yung pinakamadaling topic sa higher order DE, yung mga homogeneous DE. Okay, so sige. Consider the second order linear differential equation, A, second derivative of Y with respect to X plus B, first derivative of Y with respect to X plus CY equals 0. Okay, so this time, meron tayong second order kasi yung highest derivative na nag-appear sa DE is second derivative. So, yung mga nakamultiply dito sa second derivative, first derivative, tsaka sa Y, is puro constants A, B, at C. So, pwede rin pala natin itong i-write as yung gumagamit tayo ng D operator. So, A, D square plus B, D plus C quantity raised to Y. Kasi pag dinistribute nyo itong Y dito sa quantity na to, parang yung D squared is a second derivative nga yung Y. So, parang equivalent siya dito. As well as yung D, kapag inoperate nga yung Y, magiging first derivative ng Y. And then itong C, constant lang. So, parang, parang same lang siya as Y. Okay? Equal 0. So, mapapansin nyo, homogeneous linear DE nga siya kasi itong right side is 0. So, kapag magsasolve tayo ng homogeneous DE, gagamit tayo ng auxiliary equation. So, ano ba yung auxiliary equation? So, makukuha natin yon base din sa DE. So, yung mga D na variable dito sa DE, papalitan natin ng M. So, kaya naging AM squared for AD squared plus BM for BD at plus C for C kasi wala nang D. So, constant na lang. Equal 0. And then, the roots of the auxiliary equation determine the general solution of the homogeneous differential equations with constant coefficients. So, hahanapin natin yung roots nitong auxiliary equation. So, kapag nahanap natin yon, may iba't iba tayong case na pwedeng maging solution ng homogeneous DE. Okay? So, meron tayong case 1, case 2, tsaka case 3. So, kapag case 1, yung roots are real and distinct. So, when the roots m sub 1, m sub 2, and m sub 3, dot, 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 until m sub n, in case na yung order natin is higher than 2, let's say, nth order, hanggang m sub n yung roots natin, right? So, of the auxiliary equation are real and distinct, then the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation will be, okay, so ito lang magiging solution nga. Y is equal to constant, let's say C sub 1, multiplied by E, so laging E, raised to kung ano yung first root, then times yung independent variable. Plus, C sub 2, another constant, then E ole raised to yung second root, M sub 2, times the independent variable x plus dot 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 and so on hanggang matapos natin yung roots nung nth order differential equations. Okay? So, yun yung case 1. Kapag roots real and distinct, ha? Next, 
kapag roots real and equal, so when the roots m sub 1 equals m sub 2 equals m sub 3 equals dot 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 equals m sub n. So, lahat, so kapag daw yung roots ng DE is real at pare-parehong equal. So kaya ganito yung representation natin ng roots equal sila lahat hanggang m sub n. So m sub 1 equals m sub 2 equals m sub 3 hanggang m sub n. So of the auxiliary equation are all well and equal, then the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation will be... So ganun pa rin, gagamit pa rin kayo ng constant c sub 1 to c sub n hanggang depende sa order ng d nyo. So, so, in solution is equal to y is equal for the first for the first root, let's say m sub 1, we have c1 times e raised to ax. So, we note na lang dito na yung root na m sub 1 to m sub n is equal sa a. Kasi pare-paraw naman sila, right? So, unang part ng solution is c sub 1 e raised to, kagayahin nyo lang yung paano yung case 1, right? And then, plus c sub 2, dadagdagan nyo na ng x. Then, same na, e raised to ax. Ibig sabihin, na-repeat ng twice yung root na yon. Plus, c sub 3 x squared times e raised to ax in case meron kang repeated na roots na thrice. Okay, so depende kasi dito kung anong order ng d mo at kung ilang beses na-repeat. So, lalagyan mo lang yung constant times e raised to ax ng additional factor ng x raised to something. Depende yung n na yon kung ilang beses na ulit yung root na yon. Okay? So, magsisimula ka sa x raised to 0, x raised to 1, hanggang x raised to n. Okay? Next, we have the last case or case 3, which is yung roots na imaginary. When the roots m sub 1 is equal to a plus bi and m sub 2 is equal to a minus bi, where i is equal to square root of negative 1 of the auxiliary equation, then the general solution of the homogeneous differential equation will be y is equal to c sub 1 e raised to x cosine bx plus c sub 2 e raised to x sine bx. So, lagi kapag meron ka daw roots na conjugate pairs, complex conjugate pairs. So, ibig sabihin, meron kang form na roots na m1 tsaka m2 na a plus minus pi. So, laging come in pair yon kapag ganon. Sabihin, yung first root mo is yung a plus bi tapos yung second root mo is a minus bi. Where yung i nga is yung imaginary number. So, ganito yung magiging form niya. So, automatic dahil meron kang dalawang roots na nagka-come in pair, laging automatic meron kang C1 at C2. And then, yung imumultiply nyo sa constant is e raised to ax, so para silang may e raised to ax, yung a, yung real part nung ating complex roots. So, magiging coefficient siya nung exponent nung e. Okay? Multiplied by, yung una is cosine bx, then yung pangalawa is sine bx. So, isang cosine, isang sine. Yung Ingel nung cosine tsaka sine, this time is bx. Yung b, siya yung, siya yung numerical coefficient ng imaginary number natin dun sa complex root. Na this time, yung mumultiply nyo doon sa independent variable. So, laging come in pair yun. E raised to ax, cosine bx, and e raised to ax, sine bx. Okay? Na kung meron kayong repeated roots na complex conjugate, apply nyo, dun, apply nyo yung case. So, lalagyan nyo lang siya ng x dun sa pangalawang na ulit na complex conjugate pairs na roots. Okay? Okay, so para ma-illustrate yung pag-solve ng homogeneous differential equations, ay mag-solve tayo ng examples. So, solve the following differential equations. A, we have d cubed plus 2d squared minus 15d quantity times y equals 0. Okay, so homogeneous d siya kasi naka-equate siya sa 0. Tapos, constant coefficients lang din siya kasi mga constant yung nakamultiply dun sa derivative. So, ang first step lagi is, di ba, kukunin natin yung auxiliary equation. So, itong mga d, papalitan lang natin ng m together with the constants. Okay, so we have m cubed plus 2m squared minus 15m. So, nakuha yun dito, ha? Equal 0. So, ang next step is, kukunin natin yung roots nitong auxiliary equation. So, factoring na lang gamitin natin. So, factor ko muna itong m. So, magiging m squared plus 2m minus 15 equal 0. And then, itong quadratic, factorable naman siya. So, we can factor it as m, m, and then sa constant, factor ng negative 15 that adds up to positive 2. 5 and 3. So, plus minus, right? So, so, therefore, equating each factor to 0, we have... 
So the first root is automatically 0. The second root is transpose 3, positive 3. And the third root is transpose 5, negative 5. Okay, so case 1 lang tayo. Kasi yung roots natin ay real at unequal. So, ang general form is y is equal to, so ito muna tayo sa m sub 1 na root. So, c sub 1, e raised to 0 times x, right? m sub 1 kasi 0. Plus, c sub 2, e raised to 3x kasi m sub 2 is 3. Plus, c sub 3, e raised to negative 5x kasi m sub 3 is negative 5. Or simply, y is equal to e raised to 0 times x is parang e raised to 0 or 1. So, parang c1 times 1 is simply c1 lang. Plus, eto, copy na lang, c2 e raised to 3x plus c3 e raised to negative 5x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have 10d cubed plus d squared minus 7d plus 2 quantity times y equals 0. Okay, so this time, meron tayong third order homogeneous constant coefficient DE. So, transform muna natin to into auxiliary equation, then solve natin yung roots. So, therefore, we have, yung mga di papalitan lang natin ng M, together with the constant, so we have 10 M cubed plus M squared minus 7 M plus 2 equal 0. So, hanapin ngayon natin yung roots nitong cubic polynomial. So, yun lang naman ang challenge dito, eh, yung paghanap ng roots ng auxiliary equation, lalo kung given tayo ng higher order DE, third order or above. So, gamit na lang tayo dito ng synthetic division. So, alam naman na natin yung synthetic division, right? May video na rin ako doon, so, kung hindi pa ililink ko na lang para ma-review nyo. Okay? So, parang trial and error ang gagawin natin dito kasi hindi tayo sure kung ano yung possible roots nitong cubic polynomial natin. Pero, meron tayong theorem na ang possible roots nitong polynomial is yung factor nung constant term, let's say P, tapos divided by dun sa factors nung, nung numerical coefficient ng leading term na 10mq, which is 10. Let's say Q. So, yung possible roots nitong polynomial is P over Q. So, ano ba yung possible roots nitong 2? plus minus 1 and plus minus 2. Right? Tapos, ano yung possible roots nitong Q? Which is yung 10. Plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 5, plus minus 10. Right? So, ngayon, kung i-apply natin tong P over Q, marami tayong possibility. So, let's say ito muna tayo sa plus minus 1 over plus minus 1. So, parang we have plus minus 1 lang din, right? So, try natin i-trial and error, let's say, itong negative 1. Sa so, pag-synthetic division, susulat natin sa isang row yung mga numerical coefficients. So, 10, 1, negative 7, 2. So, kompleto lahat, right? Kasi meron tayong 3, 2, 1 na exponent and then yung constant term na 2. So, kapag merong missing, lalagyan nyo lang ng 0 yung missing term doon sa polynomial. Okay? And then, yung hula natin, let's say itong negative 1, lagay natin sa gilid. So, ang algorithm is, bring down natin yung unang term na 10, then multiply natin to sa negative 1, we have negative 10, tapos i-add natin. 1 plus negative 10 is negative 9. Multiply ulit natin sa negative 1, we have positive 9, then add ulit natin itong negative 7 plus 9 is 2. Then, multiply natin yung 2. Uli sa negative 1, we have negative 2. Then, add natin yung 2 plus negative 2 is 0. So, kapag 0 yung dulo mo, automatic factor siya or root siya noong ating polynomial. So, therefore, ang magiging transform factor form nitong polynomial natin is x, x plus 1. Kasi itong negative 1 is root kaya positive 1, right? And then, Itong 10, negative 9, tsaka ito, siya yung numerical coefficient nung ating magiging quadratic equation na. Kasi, kasi finactor out natin yung isang root nung cubic. So, magiging 10x squared na minus 9x plus 2 equal 0. So, ito, pwede na lang natin itong i-factor or gumamit tayo ng quadratic 
equation. So, factor na lang natin. X plus 1 times, so, pwede tong 5X, 2X, then, 1, 2. Negative, negative. So, tama, right? Equal 0. So, therefore, yung mga roots natin is x plus 1 equal 0, 5x minus 2 equal 0, and 2x minus 1 equal 0. So, sorry, m pala. So, palitan natin. So, gawin natin mga m. Ginawa ko kasi yung x. So, solving for the roots, we have m sub 1 is equal to negative 1, m sub 2 is equal to 2 fifths, right? m sub 3 is equal to 1 half. So, anong case to? Case 1 pa rin kasi real and unequal roots. So, therefore, ang form natin is y is equal to c1 e raised to m sub 1 x which is negative 1 x or simply negative x na lang plus c2 e raised to yung second root na 2 fifths. So, 2 fifths x plus c3 times e raised to yung third root na 1 half multiplied by x. So, so therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have quantity d to the fifth minus d to the third times y equals 0. Okay, so this time, fifth order de. So, ganun na le, hanapin muna natin yung auxiliary equation. Yung d gagawin lang natin m, then equate natin sa 0. So, so m to the fifth minus m cube is equal to 0. So, ito madali lang ito factor, right? Factor out muna natin yung common na m cube. So, we have m cube times m squared minus 1 equal 0. So, itong m squared minus 1, factorable siya, quadratic. Factor niya is difference of 2 squares. So, m plus 1 times m minus 1 equal 0. So, therefore, itong m cube equivalent yan sa tatlong roots na 0. So, m1 equals m2 equals m3 equal 0. Tapos itong m plus 1, equate natin sa 0. Tsaka m minus 1, equate sa 0. We have m4 is equal to negative 1. m5 is equal to 1. So, dahil meron tayong repeated roots, apply natin yung case 2. So, magkakaroon ng x, right? So, therefore, y is equal to c1. So, e raised to yung wala mo ng x. So, 0 times x or simply e raised to 0 or 1. So, kahit wala na to. Plus, c2, this time nagdagdagan natin ng x para dun sa pangalawang root na naulit sa 0. e raised to 0 times x or e raised to 0 or 1. So, kahit din natin isulat. Plus, c3, yung pangatlong root. So, this time magkakaroon siya ng x squared. Right? Times e raised to 0 times x ulit or kahit wala, nakasewan lang naman to and then, plus etong fourth root, so c4 e raised to kung ano yung root nga, negative 1 times x or simply e raised to negative x, right? plus, c5 e raised to yung fifth root na 1 times x or simply, x na lang so therefore, this is the final answer, okay? next, we have quantity d squared plus 6d plus 30 times y equals 0. Okay, so madali lang. So, sige, gawin muna natin, hanapin muna natin yung auxiliary equation. So, papalitan natin yung d ng m lang. So, m squared plus 6m plus 13 then equate it to 0. So, hanapin natin yung roots nitong quadratic equation. So, hindi siya factorable, right? So, gamitin na lang natin yung quadratic formula. So, m is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, b natin is 6, a natin is 1, c natin is 13. So, substitute natin. So, negative 6 plus minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times a na 1 times c na 13 over 2 times a na 1. So, ilan to? Negative 6 plus minus square root of 6 squared minus 4 times 13. Negative 16 over 2 times 1 is 2. Equals negative 6 plus minus. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong 
square root of negative 16. So, meron tayong imaginary number. Ilan yon? Kasi meron tayong negative radicand sa loob ng square root. So, ilan to? For I, right? Base dun sa video ko rin sa complex number. Over 2. So, therefore, we have pag yung sibot kasi 2, we have negative 3 plus minus 2i. So, meron tayong complex conjugate pair na roots. So, automatic, we have yung i raised to ax cosine bx saka i raised to ax sine bx na pair dun sa dun sa case 3 natin for imaginary roots. So, therefore, yung m1 natin is negative 3 plus 2i tsaka m2 is negative 3 minus 2i. So, therefore, ang a natin is negative 3 at b is 2. So, yung form ng solution natin for this type of roots is y is equal to c1 e raised to ax times cosine bx plus c2 e raised to ax times sine bx. So, substitute natin. c1 e raised to ax, yung a natin is negative 3, so negative 3x times cosine bx. So, b natin is 2, so cosine 2x. And then, plus c sub 2 e raised to same ax, so negative 3x times sine bx. So, same yung bx natin na 2x. So, therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? Next, we have quantity d to the 6 plus 6d to the 4th plus 9d squared times y equals 0. Okay, so this time, 6th order d tayo. So, gawin muna natin in terms of m para mahanap yung auxiliary equation. So, magiging m to the 6 plus 6m to the 4th plus 9m squared equals 0. So, I think madali siyang i-factor kasi pwede natin i-factor muna itong common monomial na m squared. So, m squared times m to the 4th plus 6m squared plus 9 equals 0. So, I think ano to? Factorable to, right? m squared times m squared plus 3 quantity squared, right? Perfect trinomial square, right? So, therefore, parang naulit itong m squared plus 3 na root. So, parang pwede natin i-write as m squared times m squared plus 3 times m squared plus 3 equals 0. Okay? So, ito, ano mapapansin nyo? Makakabutay dyan ng complex conjugate pair kasi pag kinuha natin yung roots nito equal siya sa m squared plus 3 pag inequate natin sa 0 so equate muna natin sa 0 each factor so dito sa m, m squared equal 0 meron tayong dalawang roots na naulit na 0 so m sub 1 is equal to m sub 2 equal 0 okay so case 2 agad yon and then dito magkakaroon nga tayo ng complex roots kasi we have m squared. Pag tinanspose natin itong positively sa right, nagiging negative 3. Tapos in square root both sides, we have m is equal to plus minus square root of negative 3. Which is, imaginary number n, right? So parang equal to sa plus minus i square root of 3. Right? So ito rin, same. So parang ito, m sub 4 equals m sub 5 is equal to plus minus i square root of 3. So pair to. Tapos ito rin, m sub, sorry, m sub 3, tsaka 4 pala to. Tapos, m sub 4 equals m sub 5 is plus minus i squared of 3 din. Kasi same lang sila. So, magkakaroon tayo nung x yung case 2. So, y is equal to, dito muna sa dalawang na ulit na 0 na roots. So, c sub 1, e raised to 0 times x, or e raised to 0 is 1. So, parang c1 na lang. Plus, C2 times x kasi naulit nga yung root na 0 times e raised to 0 times x or 1 na lang. So, C2x na lang. Okay? Plus, so this time yung root is complex conjugate pair. So, parang yung a mo dito is 0 tapos b mo is square root of 3. Right? Kasi wala kang real part, ba Plus minus i square root of 3 lang. So, therefore, let's say C3 times e raised to 0 times x. So, e raised to ax, right? Then, cosine square root of 3x, right? Bx. So, square root of 3x plus C4. Yung kapareho neto is e raised to 0 times x times sine naman, sine Bx. So, sine square root of 3x then. And then, dahil na ulit, 
kailangan natin magkaroon ng x. So, this time, C5x, same lang dito sa e raised to 0 times x, cosine square root of 3x, plus C6 din, na may x para naman dito sa e raised to 0 times x, sine square root of 3x. Or writing, as a final answer, we have C1 plus C2x plus itong mga e raised to 0, gawin na lang nating 1. So therefore, parang C3 cosine square root of 3x plus C4 sine square root of 3x plus C5x cosine square root of 3x plus C6x sine square root of 3x. So therefore, this is the final answer. Okay? So, ganun lang mag-solve ng homogeneous constant coefficient differential equation. So, malay lang siya kasi hanapin nyo lang yung roots ng auxiliary equation. Then, apply nyo yung general form ng solutions depende sa case 1 to case 3 na kalalabasan nung, nung roots ng auxiliary equation natin. Okay? So, sana yung may natutunan kayo sa video na to at maraming salamat sa panonood.